everyone, it's Tammy, and welcome to this collab video. I am so happy that I am a part of this Prima Dolls collaboration group. It is fabulous, and I will have the links to the other gals that are in this group below. And I know that Dee Dee and Terio are both hostesses, I guess, for this group. And they have been the sweetest things ever. I just have really been enjoying this. And the challenge is every month we have to do something with our Prima Dolls. And you know, guys, I love my Prima Dolls. So I am super excited to be a member of this group. And this month is March. So it was the, the um, theme was St. Patrick's Day. But the prompt was Four Leaf Clovers. So I was looking at things to do and I wasn't sure. And because I am also a planner girl, I was excited when this idea came to me from a friend. I have this planner that I use for mostly my to-do lists. And this is the March. It's pretty, I like it. But wouldn't it be better if it looked like this? Oh my word. So I was, I knew I wanted to do a rainbow of dolls. So that's what I did for this. But my friend, and I was looking at it and I had it on a scrapbook paper. This paper was a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And I thought, gosh, I really just don't scrapbook anymore. And I was thinking I would put on here like as a header um, or a title page saying a girl, a rainbow of colors or a girl for every color or something like that because I wanted it to be noticed that it was indeed red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, but, um, you know, the colors of the rainbow, but I didn't really like the idea of a scrapbook paper because I don't really scrapbook anymore, so I wanted something else, and I asked my friend Tracy, hi Tracy, what I should do, and she said, ooh, a planner, um, whatever this is called, a divider for your planner, and at first I thought, ooh, that'd be cool, and I could even use one for every month, and do six months worth of planners, but I really wanted it to be all one month because this is the challenge for the month and this is my whole month. I did one of each color for the rainbow. So I just decided to put them all together. So I did the red, which is kind of pink, red, orange, yellow on this page, and then I did the green, blue, purple on this page, and I just think it turned out fabulous. I love all of these dolls. I love that they can have their own personalities but still fit together. I just love everything about it. So what I did for my dolls, just so you guys know, is I um, either cut them out or I had a cut for them, a die cut. Most of them I think were cut out now that I'm looking at it. But um, on her, I stamped her twice. I cut out her dress and then I cut out her body and I just placed her dress on top. For her, I cut her out three times. I did her dress, and then this dress, or her, I did her body, and then this dress form is actually a die cut. So I did the doll, and then I did her dress as a cut out, and then this is an ex extra cut out. And um, I did them in the same color. I just took some Wink of Stella and colored over this intricate die. I thought it was really cute. And then her, I colored her, or I stamped her all on, um, I think it was just Whisper White cardstock from Stampin' Up, and I just colored her, and then I also stamped her, just her dress, in this pattern paper, and I just cut out this part of the pattern paper to put on top. Super cute, but she's not die cut at all, she's just colored. And this one, I colored her shirt on one stamp and then I cut out her shoes in brown, her hat in brown, and this had a die cut with it. So I also cut out her, or I stamped and cut and die cut her dress. And then I just cut off the parts of her dress that I wanted to have this pattern to match the green shirt. And let's see, she is, I wanna say she's a die cut too, I think. So I what I did is I, I um, colored her in Night of Navy from Stampin' Up, and I did Night of Navy on her little skirt. This is supposed to be open here, so that, you know, this kind of flaps open, kind of cool. And she has a little uh, swimsuit underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but 
probably won't ever. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to put the skirt on her or not, but I decided to put the skirt on her, but I just glued it at the top. And I just did the polka dots with a white pen, one of these Stegno, Stigno, Signo pens, Uniball. I did it with that and I just put dots all over it. And so this I just colored with my marker and then I did the white over it. And then this beautiful girl, she is, this is all just one stamp. I didn't, I just stamped her in Whisper White and then I colored her. And I did a uh, Wisteria Wonder marker over her. I just love that color. And then I also did the Wink of Stella on her dress and on her shoes. Anywhere that there was the Wink, the um, Wisteria Wonder, the purple, I did that in Wink of Stella. And that is it. And I need to write March on here still. I guess I can do that right now. Let's do that. Maybe with this. March. And then March. That way it is completely done. And I also put some uh, stickers that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby, these are like the jeweled stickers and um, from Paper Studio in the shape of shamrocks. And then they also came with the little dots. So the little dot stickers are also from them. The little shamrocks that are cut out are from a punch that my friend Tanya has. And I just borrowed it to make some green shamrocks. And I put those just periodically wherever. And that is that. I just love it. I think it's adorable. So yay, I'm excited. That is my project for March. I can't wait to see what April brings. And yeah, if you guys want to join this collab or join as a, oh, what do they call it? I think it's just a, oh, if you guys want to participate, I think that's the word, just be a participant, um, make something too. And be sure to uh, use the same title that I have on this title. And that way, when we're searching, we can find you. And we like to search periodically, at least I do, the collaborators. I think that a lot of us will search throughout the month to see what people have posted, and then we'll leave some comments on you. And um, it's just fun. So if you are, if you like what you see and you want to do it too, please do. And uh, I'd love to see what you come up with for St. Patrick's Day with our little Ju with our little Julia Nutting, Julie Nutting Prima Dolls. I just love them. And there's no specific doll you have to use. You can use any doll you'd like, but it needs to be one of the Prima dolls. Um, not one of the other, like, princess dolls or whatever. It needs to be a Prima doll. And it needs to be for St. Patrick's Day and include some shamrocks, please. So, yay. I'm excited to see what you all might come up with. And thank you so very much for watching. I just love these dolls, and I can't wait to see what's up for next month. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.